there my name is Nishtha and today I'm going to narrate an empath's childhood. Being an empath was a blessing and a curse both. I started doing my work when I entered my life, when I took my first breath on this planet. My spirit directed me to work towards transmutation of energy that is converting negative energy into positive energy and I started doing that when I was a little girl. My first task was to change the vibration of the house that I was born into. I was born into a house that had a very negative vibration. There were lots of hate messages in the house. There were lots of anxiety, stress, fear. And I was born into that environment. It was a test by the universe because being an empath, I had this unique ability and talent to convert negative energy into positive energy. Sometimes I used to see my mother crying from the corner of my eyes. I wanted to comfort her but I didn't know how to walk. I wanted to hug her but I didn't know how to speak. I wanted to cry myself on several occasions but uh, something stopped me from within. I told myself that I don't have to make any noise, I don't have to be noticed. However, because I was just one year old, sometimes I used to give in and I used to cry. That didn't help me in any way, in fact it made matters worse because my mother in turn would scream at me. Her tone of voice was menacing and I'm not blaming anyone here. But my mother used to scream at me because my father used to scream at her. Like I said, the environment that I was born in was not healthy. However, I was expecting a miracle to happen in my life so that I get at least one person who I can communicate with. Now you would think that how could a one year old person communicate? It's very simple, through energy. You can communicate through your energy and through your eyes. And that is exactly what I wanted. However, it took me some time to get there. Another magical thing started happening in my life. It was when I used to fall asleep. I used to dream a lot. And once I got this very special dream that stuck with me, I dreamt that I was walking outside a gate. I had become taller than the gate. And when I walked to the other side, I was extremely happy. There was a smile on my face. The emotions that I felt, they were good emotions, they were different emotions and I could feel that. At that point, I didn't understand what these emotions were, but slowly when I grew up, I understood that these emotions were of success, of victory, of accomplishment. That dream stayed with me and when I woke up, I wanted to share it with someone. But unfortunately, there was no one, so I started talking to myself and I discovered an inner voice that spoke back. That inner voice told me that this is the future and that person that you saw, that person was you. That gave me hope for the rest of my life. I knew that I will get out of this situation. It might take some time, but it will happen in the future because I've already seen it. And that was when my connection with my spirit got even more stronger and I started trusting something within me that was invisible that I couldn't see. One fine day, I woke up and I saw another pair of eyes looking at me. These were a new pair of eyes, a fresh pair of eyes. And I was so happy looking at them because the feeling that I got from this person was completely different. This was my nanny. Welcome nanny to my life and she just changed the course of my life. Because she cared for me, she respected me, she valued me. She treated me properly so unlike the rest of the members of my family. From that moment onwards, I used to look forward to waking up. I used to look forward to playing with her. I used to look forward to life while I was still doing my work as an empath. An empath is someone who absorbs all emotions from their environment. I absorbed a lot of stress. I absorbed a lot of worry. I absorbed a lot of anxiety. And it took me quite a while to get rid of these emotions because I understood that these were not mine. 
I transmuted all of these emotions into better emotions of love, harmony and peace. I brought order out of chaos. This is a wonderful ability but I realized it much later in my life. However, one fine day, I asked my nanny about my dream. How did I do that with my energy, with my eyes? I told her to take me to that place where I saw the dream and guess what she understood? She intuitively understood what I was trying to tell her and she took me outside into the garden and I spotted the gate and I looked at her and I smiled and I urged her to take me towards that gate so that I can see it for real and feel all those emotions that I felt in my dream. And when I was closer to the gate, guess what? I felt the same feeling of success and accomplishment coming back to me. And I made a decision within myself that I'm going to get there when I grow up. I worked towards my goal every single day till I was 17. And guess what my dream did come true when I was 17 years old. I did cross the gate with a smile on my face. And that was one of the happiest days of my life. Thank you for listening to part one of an empath's childhood. I hope you enjoyed it and have a good day today. Thank you.